Thanks for stopping by everybody. In this video, I'm going to show you how to go from this to this. It's easy and affordable. Let's go. According to the instructions, we need to clean the back of the TV with some isopropyl alcohol. And this cheap packet actually comes with a wipe it. So let's go ahead and do that. Now I'm just going to clean around the edges where I know the light strip is going to go. And if you're wondering, this is a 70 inch Samsung TV. I've had it for about three weeks or so. And I thought I'd give it a little bit of life by getting this LED strip. I'll leave affiliate links in the description. You can see how affordable they are. Um, again, the 70 inch one is the most expensive one for about $25, but that does include tax. Not only can you do this with your TV, but you can also do it with your monitor. And the first thing that I do, I'm going to get my USB cord that came with the kit. I'm going to plug it right on in because I think I want to find out how far this hangs down because I know I'm going to start in this corner here. So I know where to start off. I'm going to start right here. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to, I'm just going to go ahead and plug this LED strip into the power port right here, just like this. Now this tape that's on the back, it's kind of like a 3M tape, but I'm going to stay away from that right now. And I'm going to use these included cable clips right here. And they give you 10 of these that comes with this uh, package. So I'm going to go ahead and get the first one out. And you can see the adhesive on back right here. But anyway, I'm going to peel that off. And I know I'm going to need at least four of these for the four corners. So again, I'm going to start right there actually i'm going to go up first i know i'm going to start right about there so i'm going to put my clip right here my cable clip okay and i'm going to go ahead and just do one on the top corner And I'm going to put one in the middle. All right, I'm going to unspool my LED strip a little bit. And I'm going to start right there. And I'm just going to slide that in like that. I'm going to come up. Second, like that. And then the third clip like that. So now that we're at this corner here, I'm just following the instructions. We want to crimp it and bend it like that. So I'm going to go ahead and put my second clip here so that I can make that bend. And according to the instructions, I want to make it just a little bit above that, like so. So now I'm going to crimp it a little bit. and then hook it just like that. And there we've made the first turn. Now with the 70 inch TV, I just need to place a few more cable holders. I know I'll need one in the far corner. I know I'll need one in the middle. All right. For starters, let's just do the three and see if that works. And again, with the large TV, it's a little cumbersome, but not too bad. We just want to make sure the LED lights are facing towards the wall, so to speak. And make sure to put your clips up so you can clip them down. Okay. 
and then the clip on the corner i'll let the spool run down with gravity okay so you can see right here we're at the top right corner and per the instructions you can see we have to make this fancy loop right here and then put it into another cable clip so let me go ahead and put the cable clip on first and then we'll deal with that that turn the hardest part of this installation is getting these stickers off the back of the cable clips i'm double checking the placements there. so something like that whoops I'm going to do that, loop it up like that, and then clip it into the cable clip, like so. And if you look right here, it's almost like that, but I think we're close enough. So now, I only have 10 cable clips, so I might have to improvise the rest of the way. So let me get a cable clip down here on the bottom. And we know we'll need one in the middle. You can see right here I've made a mistake, so I'm going to fix this mistake really quick. to do that twist and back there I fixed my mistake this was twisted right here all right back to putting on the middle clip here for the right side of the TV that is clipped get the bottom clip right here All right, we are just about finished installing the strip. I have to do that, that turn like that. All right, and I'm going to use the last of the 10 cable clips for this turn. And make sure to face the cable clip up. I'm going to do that bend kind of just like that. And now we're going to do the bottom. So for the bottom, I think we're going to go ahead and utilize the adhesive tape that comes with it. From what I've read, this adhesive tape is not like 3M tape or it's not as good as 3M tape. So we'll see how long it lasts, but only time will tell. So let me peel that off to there. Enough there. Make sure that bend is stable. And I'm not trying to be 100% straight because this is going to be hidden. I just want to make sure it's it sticks. All right, and this $25 kit basically is installed. Let me hook it back up. Let me put the TV back on the TV stand and see if it works. All right, the TV is set back up. Now the next thing, we need to grab the remote. And make sure you grab out this plastic insert right here that allows for the battery to hit its contacts. So let's see if it works. All right, here's the moment of truth. I'm turning on the TV. And there it is. It looks like the default color is red. So let's change that up because that's going to trigger me. All right, I've changed my settings to green, but I'm just going to flip through them really quick. The blue looks nice as well. And that actually looks really good if you're watching a nature channel or something with the ocean. And as far as the remote right here, you can see you have RGB. You have different modes, but... I'll let you go through those yourselves. For me, I just use these basic colors down here. But I did make sure to turn up 
this right here to the brightest it can go. But if that's too bright for you, what you saw, you can always turn it down using the down arrow. And there she is with the backlighting on. It was simple. It was easy. It cost me less than $25 for a 70-inch TV. Just a quick look at the back right here. It's as easy as it gets. Folks, I want to thank you for watching. And as always, I will see you in the next video. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to get the USB cord. I'm going to find my USB port down here. Somewhere. Somewhere. Where the hell is my USB port at? There it is. Start that clip over. Yeah, <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to peel that off. And I know I'm going to need at least four of these for the four corners. There's kind of a learning curve to getting the back of this to peel off. <laughs>